Fallout from Charlottesville has shaken this country to its core, leaving many feeling outraged and hopeless. Well, tonight we're going on a mission to restore that hope through the eyes of those who have the power, conviction and energy to bring change. We're talking about young people. 7 Action News reporter Naya Harden joins us live from Wayne State in Midtown. And Naya, you've been talking to students there all day about the future of this country. What are they telling you? Glenda, a lot of them feel like the leadership has failed them. Some of them say they refuse to get caught up in all this mess. That's why I don't even like, try not to even like, even though it's important to know what's going on, I try not to even like get too involved in it because it's just like so ridiculous. Marie is talking about the recent protest in Charlottesville that left one woman dead and many injured. She says she has decided to ignore all the negativity. Most of the students we tried talking to on campus have been doing the same thing. It's really nothing new. It's just there's something that unfortunately that people tell us that we have to deal with, but those people are the people who are part of the problem just as much as the white supremacists are. Students say President Trump has not made the situation any better. I'm not really that surprised Wait, that, that, surprising. that he you know, didn't address it immediately or anything uh, or didn't seem to care that much about it. Is anybody surprised at any remarks that he makes anymore? I mean, clearly we don't matter to him. Seeing that is kind of sucks I and mean, it's, it's disappointing. We know what it is from the history that every race, every tribe come together from every part of the world to make this country great. It's up to us to do something about it. That's like, honestly, the only thing that can be said. If we don't do anything, then nothing will be done because our parents are getting older. Our grandparents are either dead or they're getting older. And it's really up to us. We're the driving force now. They just need to do the right thing and uh, make sure as a president, bring the country together. I really think that people need to just uh, unify. Um, yeah, we're like all more alike than we are different. Stuff like that people don't realize that. Yeah. Now, students say they are working together. They have been talking to each other. They say they've even had some rallies earlier this year against hate, but they say it's going to be a long fight. Naya Harden, 7 Action News. Uh, Naya, thank you so very much. The young